Now at 530, demonstrations devolving into riots on the streets of Portland, leading to bloody brawls, national headlines, even accusations. Portland's mayor has tied the hands of police officers when it comes to enforcing the law. Well, Fox News Marsha Martinez sat down to an exclusive interview with Mayor Ted Wheeler to address these issues. She joins us live now in studio with us and also with more on what he plans to do about these various issues and problems, Marsha. Well, during our conversation, he did present a few solutions and he says that he's hoping to get them implemented by Saturday, August 17th. That's when, according to him, a few prominent groups with a history of clashing on our streets are planning to return to Portland for another demonstration. No, Portlanders have seen the same scene play out time and time again. <laughs> Violent protests painting a city known for its political activism as disorderly and even chaotic. The game plan we've been using up to this point is no longer effective. Since being elected in May of 2016, Mayor Ted Wheeler has been heavily criticized for his approach as police commissioner, sometimes simultaneously for under-policing and over-policing. After a June 29th protest that ended in the attack of a conservative writer, Portland Police Association President Daryl Turner released a public statement saying the mayor needed to, quote, remove the handcuffs from our officers and let them stop the violence through strong and swift enforcement action. It definitely lit the powder keg. Every one of my team members was threatened by violence. Even national figures weighed in. U.S. Senator Ted Cruz called for a federal investigation into the mayor's alleged actions, accusing him of allowing citizens to be attacked by domestic terrorists. I thought it was a little bit beneath a United States senator. The truth is I wasn't even here. I wasn't even in the United States. I was with my family in Ecuador on a wildlife tour. So what does happen during a protest? One of the things that, that I'd like the public to know is there is a unified incident command center that's engaged during these demonstrations. According to Mayor Wheeler, information comes in from the field and is relayed to those in command, including police chief Danielle Outlaw. The incident commander's tactics are then reviewed by internal legal counsel. Have you ever told Chief Outlaw to make an order, to give an order to the officers to stand I, I have never made a tactical decision, and I most certainly did not on June 29th. Wheeler claims his directives are the same each protest. Enforce the law. Don't let people commit acts of violence. Uh, don't let people shut down regional transit, keep the city active and moving, and don't let people get onto the highways or do anything stupid. PPB's assistant chief echoed that claim after the June 29th protest. Enforce the law. To the extent it is physically possible, prevent violence from happening in, in our city, prevent property damage, and allow people to exercise their First Amendment rights. But some say too few arrests have been made and there have been even fewer convictions. For instance, only one person is facing a felony charge in the June 29th demonstration, though several were recorded committing acts of violence. Would you call that a success in enforcement of the law? The police have tried to identify as best as they can some of the people who are involved in those brawls. But many were wearing masks. Chief Outlaw recently proposed an ordinance banning them at protests. It is legal in three states and it has withstood challenges in federal courts of appeals. Mayor Wheeler says he is considering it. He also wants other bureaus in addition to PPB to help keep opposing groups separated during demonstrations. In other cities, for example, the transportation bureaus and the fire bureaus they don't necessarily provide people, but they provide resources and barriers. And we've got to stop being naive and assume that this is just some local law enforcement issue. The reality is Portland is on the national stage. Mayor Wheeler says PPB is facing several challenges related to policing, including understaffing. At this moment, there are more than 120 vacant positions. To hear more about his proposal uh, to solve these issues and more, head over to kptv.com. There you will find our full interview. Live in studio, Marja Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon.